And we are officially live. Jason Williford, brother, what is up, man? How you doing? I am doing wonderful. How you doing? Dude, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing a lot better now that I've got you on the line here, man. I'm, I'm so excited to kind of pick your brain a little bit because I know you're going to drop some, some massive knowledge to our audience, man. And, and by the way, hey, thank you so much for taking a, a couple minutes out of your day um, to share with our audience, man. I know that uh, you're a busy dude. I know you're building a, a big empire down there in, uh, in the Houston, Texas area. Atlanta. And, uh, and, and so excited just to, to have an opportunity to spend a couple minutes with you here, man. But why don't we dig right in, brother? I always like to, I always like to kind of figure out, um, you know, what you did before you got into real estate, and and um, you know, for those of you who didn't watch Tracy's show, um, uh, Brian or uh, Jason is actually Tracy's partner. Tracy's, um, I don't want to say better half because I know she'd kill me, uh, but but certainly uh, you, she is you the yin to your yang. Sure. She's yeah, she's the yin to your yang, and um, and and so I know that you guys kind of. Um, you know, you fill in each other's weaknesses and it works really well. You guys are obviously doing uh, amazing things down there. So real quickly, man, fill us in on kind of kind of what your background is uh, and then how you got into real estate. OK, uh, just a quick, quick background. Uh, I started out 100 uh, percent commission sales back in uh, 1999, selling vacation ownership, uh, worked in the Smoky Mountains, uh, Tennessee, Destin, Florida. Uh, started in an Atlanta offsite, uh, and it's a really tough sell because you have to, uh, especially offsite. Uh, you know, people are walking in just to get free gifts, and you have to sell a thirty thousand dollar package in ninety minutes, uh, basically with pictures on the wall, uh, no sticks, no bricks. So, uh, you know, I learned uh, that was my college. I, I have a high school education, so uh, sales uh, was my blessing. Uh, uh, you know, and I've uh, been blessed with some great mentors. Uh, through the years, so uh, great mentors, uh, you know the uh, the grand poobahs of uh, sales. So college of hard there. knocks. Oh, absolutely, school of hard knocks. Uh, yeah. Uh, earlier days, I was waiting tables and uh, and working on the sales floor, and uh, uh, you know just to uh, get it in when I was starting out. So uh, then I went to work for a mortgage uh, slash home improvement company that. Uh, my uncle owned and uh, was brought from Destin, Florida to uh, be the sales manager for that company. Uh, uh, then the gentleman that was running the company came up with, uh, came down with cancer and I en um, ended up going to, uh, uh, you know, and things started falling apart there and I stuck around as long as I could and uh, then seen an ad in newspaper and uh, probably one of the biggest uh, bigger life-changing events of my life. I went to uh, work for the second largest remodeling company in America, which, um, you know, again, uh, incredible mentors that I had, uh, worked up to the ranks, uh, became the youngest uh, general manager uh, in the company history uh, there. And uh, things that I learned there that, you know, utilize into this business, uh, you know, it's all, uh, you know, top of funnel marketing, TV, radio, uh, marketing, uh, back then yellow pages and uh, we had 20, 25 telemarketers on the phone. Uh, we had 20, 25 canvassers out in the field, knocking doors to generate appointments. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I had 20 to 25 uh, well-polished, highly trained uh, sales guys on predictable uh, sales systems. Uh, you know, one piece of that sales system, uh, they had a memorized verbatim over a thousand word, uh, word by word script. And, you know, that's where, you know, uh, uh, you know, practice, drilling, rehearsing, and, you know, repetition is the mother of skill without a freaking doubt. Yeah. And that's the way that uh, that company trained me to uh, to be and to train others within that company. Uh, and that's uh, what we do here, too. Uh, everything that we have is duplicable uh, that we run on the wheel, which also leads into client experience. So, you know, if one of our agents uh, is uh, is out with a client, they're getting about the same exact information than if I was at, out uh, yeah. in front of the house or if Tracy was out, um, you know, uh, duplicating yourself. So, um, um, so anyway, I ran that uh, in that industry for about 12 years, um, been in over 12,000 face-to-face uh, sales uh, uh, situations, uh, appointments, um, uh, over 10,000 of them were knocking on the door, uh, walking into a home, 
uh, sometimes not leaving till 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, most times with paperwork in the hand when I'm, I'm leaving. Um, uh, so that's that's my past before real estate. Uh, then getting into uh, getting into real estate, uh, 2008 th uh, through 2012, Tracy may have already let you guys know uh, that those were horrible years for us. Uh, I lost everything. She lost everything. Uh, uh, mindset went down the gutter. Uh, uh, you know, our kids Christmas and family Christmas was uh, 2011, 10 or 11. It was like two or three days after Christmas. And it was a blessing to be able to have that Christmas uh, because it was just because we had one closing that came in. So, yeah. Um, um, so one thing that we will not say is that we know it all and that we've arrived. We'll never tell you that we've arrived. We're uh, still trying to be a better version of ourselves. Um, uh, but kicking into real estate, uh, when did we kick it off? Uh, November 2011 is when Tracy and I joined up. Uh, we drew the line in the sand. We said, uh, freaking enough's enough and it's time to uh, get back to rocking and rolling. Uh, uh, we worked for, I uh, worked with uh, Keller Williams, uh, Keller Williams, a good company. I'm not here to knock them or anybody else. Uh, then uh, went to Remax. Tracy was a Remax girl for years and years. Uh, uh, Remax, good company. Uh, but also we were like, Hey, uh, uh, you know, for one, we're spending all this money marketing and we're marketing their brand, not ours yeah. uh, is one thing. Uh, uh, and where's the business coming from? It's not coming from those companies. It's coming from us anyway. Uh, so that's when, uh, 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 you know, hey, let's go open up our own thing. And we opened up Real Estate Expert Advisors in 2014. And uh, uh, in 16, we're the 354th fastest growing uh, privately held company in America uh, by Inc. Magazine, uh, 904th, uh, 2017, and 13. Uh, 45 last year. Uh, uh, so it's been a fun, at times excruciating uh, run. So yeah, I know run's not over. Run's just getting started. And, you know, we just love giving value back to everybody, yeah. uh, whether it be real estate agents, uh, our clients, our uh, company's been built uh, on client experience. Have we perfected client experience? We definitely haven't, uh, but we do like modeling more of the companies like a Ritz Carlton or like a Disney. Um, you know, we're not the Motel 6 nor want to be a real estate. Uh, we're here to add as much freaking value as possible. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. And it's been a wild ride, obviously, for you guys. You've seen kind of the ups and seen kind of the downs. And, you know, the great thing about um, those 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 tougher times is really those are the times that kind of shape you and mold you. They 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 really make you dial it in, man. They they you've mm -hmm. got to get down to the details to make money in the tougher markets. And what's really cool is you know you build your foundation on those more finite details, mm -hmm. and they make you stronger, and they mm -hmm. make you even more productive in a uh, in a really good market. And that's why you guys are enjoying so much success now because of what you learned in the past. And not only your past in real estate, but your past in sales, right? When you were when you told me you were knocking all those doors and sitting in front of all those clients, is really that was preparing you to become the teacher and the mentor you are today for those agents who look up to you, right? Because I remember talking to Tracy about this, and I know one of your biggest roles and one of your biggest passions is to teach, right? And so yeah. you've been doing it long enough now that you know you these guys that come into your environment, man, they're looking up to you and they're, they're, they're trying to see what, what can they learn from you? So talk, talk to me a little bit about like, I mean, obviously you guys have built over $130 million real estate team. I mean, one of the top, top teams in all of America, man. Um, and that, that's amazing. Thank you. Talk, talk to me about like where it starts for, for you guys now, because I'm assuming at 130 million or 130 million plus, it's not just about you and Tracy anymore, right? It's about, no. about having success through others. So talk to me about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And one thing that I'll again say, we haven't perfected leadership either. And if we have perfected leadership, uh, we wouldn't have a $130, $135 million company. Uh, we'd have a billion dollar company or a $3 billion a year company. Uh, so, you know, um, uh, getting to be better le leaders. And I'll go into a Jay Abraham and Harvey McKay interview uh, on a podcast that I heard. And Jay Abraham asked uh, Harvey, you know, hey, what's the 
uh, number one thing of any entrepreneur, what should they uh, know? Uh, learn to master. If they could master one skill set, what would it be? And he spelled it out and he said, H I R E. So it really comes down to uh, starting out with the who, uh, who is on the who bus, uh, uh, the hire, uh, you know, looking for humble, hungry, smart uh, folks. Because uh, I will take somebody that's got a lot of drive uh, over uh, someone that has a lot of talent any day. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's going to take action. Uh, uh, you know, it's about taking action. Nothing happens uh, uh, by just sitting around on the sidelines. So, um, uh, but you have to lead by example, getting into, uh, into your question. And I would say that's one thing that if I had to go back and do it over again, uh, uh, I would do it a little bit different that, uh, I would pop out more into the field as, as well. Uh, I've been getting out there, these days just to go have fun. Uh, I think uh, what next, I've worked about two to 3% in the business and 97% on the business. And I think I got about a million to close out for me, you know, just kind of playing around in the field. And main reason I'm doing it is really to get out and have some fun. Uh, Cause it's fun to get out there sometimes, you know, get out of the office, uh, but also, you know, just really getting into the psychology of uh, the consumer, uh, our processes and systems. Uh, what are some things that we can be doing better? Yeah, uh, to serve folks. So um, I love uh, it, brother. You know, you're staying. What what what's cool about that is like, and I respect that. Is like, you know, you're you're you put you 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 walk you you walk your talk, man. You, and 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 um and and so like when you get out in the field, man, you you stay fresh, right? So when you bring yeah. people back into a, a, an educational setting, like you can actually speak that language because you're not speaking to a market that was 10 years ago or five years ago. You're speaking yeah. in today's consumer language. And, and I think people understand and appreciate that. Not only that, but you're leading by example, right? Like if they see you go out on an appointment and close that appointment and you can come back and talk um, about, you know, what your strategy was going in or, or, um, or, or walk in your talk, so to speak. I mean, I think that's much more impactful than, than you just telling them what to do. Don't you think? Absolutely. freaking uh, You know, and it's a, to dig in deeper to your question, which was a great question is, you know, it's a, it's about leaders creating leaders. And uh, I can honestly say that, Hey, we fell short uh, at times, uh, probably still fall short, but you know, that's uh, the goal of being a better version is uh, uh, just creating better leaders. Because uh, yeah. if you don't create better leaders, uh, you're going to own a job, not own a business. Um, yeah. What I mean by owning a job is uh, you're going to be stuck in this business. Uh, and as Kinder says, you know, you're going to you know, die behind the real estate desk uh, at 80 years old, you know, and uh, that's, you know, that's not what God put us on earth to do is uh, to sell one more home. Uh, none of us will probably be on our deathbed wishing we would have just closed one more home. The transaction treadmill, right? Yeah. Uh, fulfillment. Uh, so, you know, even as, as answering your, well, what's the next from, you know, uh, 130 million to, uh, to, is it 200 million? Um, and I, and that's, uh, we're pretty crazy about our goals. We, we want to achieve greatness. It's not, we don't want to be mediocre. So, uh, and it's about the experience. And that's the fun part for us. It's not the money. Uh, it's about the experience and it's dialing in and fine tuning the uh, experience, you know, winning the consumer. Uh, um, but, uh, you know, for us, it's moved more for uh, to the coaching realm. We uh, just uh, Tracy's doing the uh, for women to empower women because uh, there's and I didn't even know this till she started educating me on uh, how many few uh, female CEOs there are in the world. And uh, her and Holly Kitchens are doing uh, female entrepreneur masterminds. Um, they've had several of them and, you know, it's one of those things that change lives. It's not about changing a bank account, you know, it truly impacts and, and change lives. So, um, um, our, uh, new group that, uh, we're working on right now is uh, warrior, uh, real estate mastermind. So, um, uh, we are fresh and popping content in it, uh, content's going into it as, as we speak right now. Uh, so that's going to be more of a high level. Uh, mastermind, uh, you know, probably uh, for uh, 800,000 and up, uh, you know, GCI earners, uh, something small, uh, intimate, 
where we can all get together, uh, you know, and, and talk, uh, talk business and help each other, you know, uh, get to where we want to go. Love it, man. I love it. All right, man. So I want to, I want to like, why we, th this will be the best part of the show. So if, if you're listening right now, turn your radio up, grab your notepad or your, or your phone or wherever you're listening or watching. Um, this is where, this is where I think you can really deliver the goods. My friend is that, you know, we all, everybody knows, and it's, this is why I, I think it's a mindset issue and not a skill set issue. Everybody knows what they need to do to be successful in real estate. The, num the number one thing you need to do is make connections, right? It, it is, sure. it's a contact sport and it's really about connections and building relationships, right? So, and we know the best way to do that, at least to scale doing that is, is picking up the phone, right? And so like, what are you got? You guys are having massive, massive success right now, uh, picking up the phone. And so what I want to know, and I know everybody listening is going to want to know is what, how do you get your agents to consistently pick up the phone? And, and then, and then the second piece of that is how are you holding them accountable? What, what kind of accountability do you have in place? Um, and my mother has raised me better than to, answer a question with a question, uh, but I think it may be more impactful. And, but my question back to you is, is how many agents do you know that just absolutely freaking love jamming the phones out for hours and hours and hours and hours making lead conversion calls? Zero. Hey, that's probably my guess. Yeah. Well, uh, 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 unless some of the crazy ones out there, that are I'm making sure some, but you know, by and large, the industry, it's, it is the biggest disconnect in our industry is yeah. the ability to have somebody sit down and make phone calls consistently. And, yeah. it, and it is a byproduct of people fear rejection, right? People will do yeah. more to avoid re rejection than they will to gain pleasure. And, mm -hmm. and so that's, that's why, but what I want to know for you and, and you know, you, How do you, you do it or yeah, you said before it's, it's, it's not something you have completely figured out, but you guys obviously have it figured out better than a lot of other teams. So I want to know what it is exactly you guys are doing so that our audience can help dial in their teams to, to help the get answer, to more level of productivity. Our answer is delegation uh, with having great people, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, inside sales agents, obviously that, you know, are on the right systems, processes, procedures, the right, uh, scripting, uh, the right mindset, and they do not hang from a tree. And I'm not talking about telemarketers because uh, there's a huge difference in a telemarketer uh, and an inside sales agent. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about an inside sales agent that's really a client experience specialist. Um, uh, uh, but when you're, uh, that's how you get out of having, if you're currently, you have to make the calls. You probably had to make the calls. I had to make the calls. Uh, but you get tired of making the calls and, uh, you know, in the highest dollar producing activities, uh, prospecting is number three. Uh, it's not number one. Uh, number one is being in a face to face listing appointment is the highest dollar producing activity that a real estate agent can be in, uh, which for a real estate team leader, if some of those are watching the, uh, the call, uh, um, my theory is not a listing appointment. Uh, it's client acquisition. Uh, how do we acquire new clients? Uh, uh, but uh, really, to answer your question, it's really in uh, uh, you know inside sales agents and get digging into inside sales agents. Uh, you know, I'm sure most of your listeners probably ha heard of uh, the four levels of competency. Should I go go into that or not? Yeah, if you want to, if you want to speak real briefly on that, that's fine. Very briefly, four levels of competency. Uh, lowest level of competency is uh, um, um, un, uh, uh, dang it, um, unconsciously incompetent. That's the lowest level of competency. Uh, you don't know what you don't know. Next level, um, uh, consciously incompetent. Now you know that you need to know a skill set, but you don't know how in the world to do it. Right. Next level, consciously competent. Uh, hey, uh, you're starting to know the skill set and you can do it, but you got to think hard about it. A uh, highest level is unconsciously competent, uh, which is uh, uh, is second nature to you. It's like tying your shoes at this point. And how do you get to that? You get to that through repetition. Repetition is the mother of skill, uh, Jim Rohn. Uh, uh, but you got to get your 10,000 hours in uh, to be the master. 
Um, and to be the master, you know, if you take an inside sales agent that has two years on the phone, uh, uh, that's a piece. That's four thousand hours in that skill set. Um, uh, there's not too many real estate agents that's been doing this for 20, 30 years that probably have uh, 4,000 hours over the phone in lead conversion. Um, uh, not saying there's none, but there's not too many that have that type of skill set. So when you do that over and over and over again, you get really good at it for one. Um, 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 but it's always continuous training. Um, I took my first um, a, a mixed martial arts. Uh, Kung Fu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu um, uh, last night uh, there for three hours. The gentleman, uh, you know, uh, he's uh, over 60 years, uh, uh, seven different uh, art forms uh, that he studied. Uh, he's always and he told me, he said, uh, and there's stuff that using towards the training, too. But what, what he said was, hey, uh, uh, I have coaches, too, and I'm learning. Uh, I'm learning new arts and skills. Uh, I'm always uh, learning to be uh, to get better as well. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what they're constantly always doing. Uh, they're practicing, drilling, rehearsing. Uh, uh, we do believe in scripting. Uh, I know that there's a camp that believes in scripting and there's one uh, that does not uh, believe in scripting. Uh, we, we just so happen to be, you know, scripting. I highly believe in it. I actually on our uh, on our mega agent success agents page, we interviewed a guy named Ben Gay the uh, third. He, uh, he was Zig. He sold on sales forces with Zig Ziglar. He actually beat Zig Ziglar uh, in sales contests that he even goes into in that content. Uh, he was Napoleon Hill uh, from uh, thinking grow rich. He was Napoleon Hill's last protege. Uh, ben was, goes into content in that video about how highly he believes in scripts. Um, 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 but I, I'd recommend you know that for listeners that I wouldn't go any further on that, but I'll definitely check that video out. Uh, what I would recommend because it's a killer one. Um, as far as digging into just calling expires, that's not the only way that uh, uh, that's not how we've been blessed and built what we built. Uh, uh, it's uh, that's just one you know lead source uh, that we hit where we would much rather through the strategy of preeminence. Uh, is what we believe in, which is being the number one uh, trusted advisor, and that's the way that that's the way that we are. Uh, we are going to educate the consumer, and if you want to be the expert, uh, how do you be the expert? You just educate the consumer, and that's what we you know really want to put out there. That hey, we have uh, you know served uh, 238 families over the past two years uh, that were expired listings where their homes. Uh, failed to sell. One was on the market for 1,113 days with three other agents and didn't get sold. We sold in 87 days. Uh, so we do want to let them know that, hey, we do have the proof in the pudding to do that. Uh, but on the other end of the stick, it's way easier just to go ahead and do it right the first time, uh, you know, measure twice and, and cut once uh, type mentality. So, yeah. um, uh, you know, uh, uh, so it's not it's about the phone calls. But it's not just about the phone calls. Right, right. Uh, it's about having the, you know, it's a, marketing is about omnipresence uh, and it's about being seen, uh, uh, seen and heard uh, everywhere. Uh, you know, where they're, uh, you know, hearing your ads, maybe uh, they're uh, seeing your your social media as the online marketing piece. Uh, their direct mail they're getting. Uh, they're seeing the signs in the yard. Uh, they've seen the other agent signs in the yard. The neighbors have. And now magically see your sign in there and they see the home is sold now. Yeah. And it hasn't been sold in two years. So, uh, you know, then taking that, you know, content and uh, doing a, a testimonial, you know, who can uh, sell better than any of us? Uh, it's social proof. Social proof is, you know, one of the six uh, principles of influence. Um, uh, you know, uh, so it's some of it's not rocket science. It's just taking a, you know, video and, you know, really, like you mentioned, you know, uh, we all buy things either to gain pleasure or to stay away from uh, from pain and, you know, dig into the pain points. You know, what were some of uh, the frustrations, the stress that you were having while you, your home was just sitting on the market, uh, gathering dust, uh, becoming stale to the marketplace? 
because it really looked like your home wasn't a good home. That's what it tells the marketplace is that the, uh, the home isn't good. Uh, may not be, it's just overpriced is what it happens a sure. lot of times. Sure. Um, which, you know, with the right systems in place, you know, getting into the actual scripting part of an expired script, um, it, it can't be bullshit, excuse my language, but it can't be BS because uh, uh, if your deliverables isn't there, if you don't have the deliverables uh, that's going to get their home sold, uh, you want to, you could potentially get a bad reputation versus not. So that's what I recommend to everybody. Um, you know, always um, uh, under promising and over delivering uh, the expectations uh, that you're setting because uh, uh, it's about lifelong clients, right? Yeah. Um, it's not just about a one and done. Uh, lifelong clients give referrals. They uh, come back and do business with you again. Uh, that's what also gets you away from having to make all these phone calls. But uh, 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 when you're starting out, you have to do that. But um, and I'm uh, glad you said that, man, because, you know, there's a lot of newer agents or agents who are still struggling, who haven't quite built um, what you have. You know what I mean? And but you, you did. It, you're not an overnight success by any stretch of the imaginations. And you were on the phones yourself at one point. So yeah. what do you say to those people who are either just getting into the business or they've just not quite been able to put it together on, 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 on the quickest way to scale a business. Mm -hmm. um, um, again, what is, uh, what is the, uh, what's the, uh, if I had to do over again um, and uh, the success part, and I appreciate you saying that, but uh, I don't look at myself like that. Uh, I know I've, I've got a lot of room for improvement. The business does. Uh, so I'll never tell you that we've arrived. But and, and we can same steps you take up to the top, same steps you pass back down the way to the bottom, too. So, you know, what if uh, what if it did crash right now? Uh, uh, and and what if I had to uh, what if the company crashed, had to go do it over again? What would I do? And I uh, had a thousand bugs. Um, you can bet your rear. The first thing that I would do is hop on uh, uh, free forms of advertising. Uh, inexpensive forms of advertising, uh, which would, you know, some of those are uh, FISBOs, mm -hmm. uh, uh, expired, and get on the freaking phone. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not getting success, it's because you're not on the, uh, you're not taking action. Um, um, and I know that's a um, hard pill to swallow, uh, but, you know, it's about getting real, uh, you know, uh, and I've been there before too. Uh, I think we've all been there. Uh, it's not a fun thing to do. Uh, uh, but if you want to get, if you want to have a life that you've never had, you got to do things that you've never done before too. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's not something that you have to do forever. Uh, uh, if you just, you know, uh, if you just put your time in. And that's what I want people to resonate with, man, is, 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 you know, when you don't, when you don't have the money, right. When you don't like, it's funny because we all start off in the business the same way. We don't have a lot of money, but we have a lot of time, right? And what happens is we we spend if we spend that time doing the right activities, i.e. prospecting, right, lead generation, what happens is we start to we start to generate appointments and then we start to generate, you know, contracts and closings and paychecks. Well, then we limit our time, right? And so and then what we do is we get more money. So we get more money, we have less time, and then we start buying some of our time back, right? And the way we do that is through leverage. We leverage ourselves through administrative staff. We leverage ourselves through systems and processes. We leverage ourselves through uh, automation, um, lead generation systems, um, just things to give us more of our time so that we can continue to lead generate. So what I want that guy or that gal out there who who is maybe struggling or, or, you know, wants to take the next step in their business to understand is you don't have to do it forever, right? You, you, you have to put the work in up front. It, yeah. it, and if you put the work in up front and you, um, and you start to build out your business, then you can start to leverage yourself with ISAs, Jason, like you guys have, right? And you can start to take some of that off your plate to be in some of the more dollar productive activities, right? And the last dollar productive activity you give away is your listing appointments, right? Like you said, before, Absolutely. 
the 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 most productive you could absolutely be in in, yeah. in any minute any moment of the day is to be in front of a seller, right? That's the most yeah. productive you can be. So I, what I, the whole point of that rant was: you don't have to do it forever, but you have to do it now so that you can help your business take off in order to get to that point, so you can leverage yourself out of those parts of the business that maybe you don't enjoy so much, or maybe that aren't the most dollar productive. Absolutely. So uh, what, what's, some, what's some other things that I, uh, that I could help anyone, any, anything that I could share that would you feel would be helpful for folks? Yeah. So, I mean, like I know a lot of people in are in different areas of their business that will watch this and, and, you know, like a lot of the numbers, like, some people look at the numbers and they're like, wow, I mean, I could never hit that. And some people look at them and, and they're thinking, you know, I'm on my way. But, you know, really I, what I want this in this show will will hit, you know, all different levels of, of real estate agents. But what I want people to understand is that there, there's no magic bullet, you know, a magic pill that you can swallow to help get to where you're at. Um, you've got to put in the work on the front end. But if you do, this business can be the most rewarding business you've ever been in. Um, like you said before, brother, you know, you, 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 it's not like you graduated from Harvard, but you're making Harvard, you're making Harvard money. You know what I mean? I'm and, not a sharp tool in the sh uh, shed for, by any stretch. Yeah. So like barely past high school, uh, I do have, uh, by the skin on my teeth Yeah. because I wasn't a learner. I wasn't a grower back then. Uh, but now, uh, actually, um, uh, Tracy's daughter, um, uh, is uh, about 10 feet away from me and is what uh, she's doing for us right now is she's taking, uh, we spent a little over $300,000 over the past six years in learning because we know, uh, we knew that we, we knew what we didn't know. Uh, so we knew that there was so much we needed to know that we invested in the best, the best. Uh, so we could, you know, learn up and what she's doing is taking all those notes and, uh, transcribing those. And there's two purposes that we're doing it uh, for one, obviously um, it allow us to go back in there and implement things that were even, Oh man, we should have done that like five years ago. Cause I know there's gold in the past events as well, but also number two is, you know, it's about leaving a legacy, you know? Um, uh, so I'm, you know, hoping that later on in life, uh, uh, Tracy's three girls will, uh, you know, pick up those notes and be like, oh my goodness, there's a gold mine up in here. This is not stuff that you get at the university. Yeah. And I was trying to remember the uh, Jim Rohn saying about, you know, uh, a, uh, and, I, and I'm not saying, I definitely believe in college. I wish I'd have went. Uh, but a formal education will make you a living, uh, but professional development will uh, make you a uh, fortune. fortune. Yeah, it's a yeah. fortune. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it is. I know that one. Um, so, so talk about like, you know, obviously you guys have built an amazing business. Talk about what, where you're headed. Where is this ship going? Because, you know, talk about, it's easy to throw out numbers saying I want 200 million, I want 500 million. And sometimes we get lost in that whole, you know, that whole uh, image of, of, you know, always wanting more, but like, you know, at some point, you know, it becomes less about you guys and more about, you know, the people that are, that are, that are the gasoline now that makes the engine go. And, and then, and then having, helping them become successful and then the money shows up as a byproduct of that. So I'm yeah. curious, like what, what challenges are you, are you guys facing in your business right now um, it, with, you know, taking some more off your plate and help putting into other people's lives? Um, go circling back around to the, uh, the leadership piece and uh, uh, um, I, five minutes before this call, I uh, sent a gentleman and uh, a return email that I've been interviewing with for maybe five to six months uh, uh, to potentially slide into uh, my role. Uh, uh, may happen. It may not uh, happen. Uh, but just so we can get, uh, you know, because we'll be, uh, uh, our goal is to help agents across uh, North America and uh, uh, you know without finding that right fit uh, and molding that right fit uh, we won't get to do that and the way I look at it is it's you know if we're not sharing with the world uh, the folks that want to hear us out and feel that we have value to deliver for them and uh, you know we know that we're not for everybody either um, uh, um, but that wouldn't be right for us if we 
don't share that knowledge, right? That's why I'm on this Facebook Live with you right now. Uh, I wanted to help folks out. I wanted to help you out for one. And, you know, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, um, sure. Just, just I'm sure that's the reason why you do this, you know. Uh, uh, you and I both were where, you know, uh, some of these folks are right now, you know, not knowing where to go, not knowing what, what to do and uh, feeling stuck. Uh, some of them out there may be feeling like uh, giving up. Maybe this uh, real estate thing isn't what I thought it would be. You know, uh, all of us were pretty much uh, thrown out to the wolves. And uh, uh, after we earned our real estate license, uh, about every brokerage says that, hey, uh, every brand says, that, hey, we got the best training on the planet. Uh, then it usually doesn't pan out like we thought it would be. Uh, um, uh, and so that's where I applaud you to uh, you as well for you know going out there and making a difference to uh, really add more value to our industry. Yep. And like like I said, brother, like and I, I want our audience to know we're not getting paid to do this. We we are we are this is a we are intentionally trying to get good quality information out to real estate agents who are seeking to grow a business. They're not in it as a hobby. They are seeking to grow a business to create yeah. an income um, that otherwise may not be attainable for them and their families. Absolutely. Uh, but also fulfillment. Uh, life without or success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. So um, that's just really what um, what we're, we're funny about here too is you know, what, what's life uh, if your marriage is falling apart, if your kids haven't seen you in uh, three weeks? Uh, uh, that's not good if, uh, if your spirit, spirituality is off. And I'm definitely not saying that uh, my life will is perfect because uh, it's not. And and I actually even balance is, is bullshit, too. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, perfect balance. Yeah. We're all probably never going to have that. But we can also you know, strive to be better and work on those areas that, you know, that, that we need to work on. So I could not agree more, man. I could, so I, what I, I never want to make it all about this, but you know, I've got to bring up the fact that, you know, you guys, you did recently move over to EXP and, and, you know, full mm -hmm. disclosure. So we moved over a year ago in February, but I, I'm curious as to why, why did you actually, why did you move your business over to EXP? Um, you know, um, actually a, Actually, a, a lot of um, a lot of things that I was trying to implement into uh, real estate expert advisors, because uh, really, for all clarity, our goal was uh, our end goal, exit goal was uh, to sell for 10 million apiece. Uh, uh, real estate expert advisors. That wasn't a, you know, hey, it's going to happen, uh, you know, in a year. Uh, that wasn't a year goal, uh, but that was the end goal, uh, you know, was that. And, you know, building and that's things that I worked on uh, modeling revenue share uh, plans. And uh, yes, I, uh, you know, we could have modeled, you know, the penny stock thing. Uh, but one thing that uh, and I was probably the one that held out. I was the holdout for the longest, not Tracy. Yeah. Uh, and my reason why is because I kept sticking in to model it out uh, and uh, not just model EXP out, but model a differentiated brokerage out. We've done a. Uh, you know, our still our company's not a traditional. It never has been a traditional firm. Uh, uh, but really, the pull to EXP is it was already already done. Um, uh, things that, also things that we were doing. Uh, Tracy, especially, she was the broker. Uh, she wore the broker hat uh, in our organizational chart. Uh, Tracy and I have many. You know, we have it broken up in the you know who owns what when things are growing great. Uh, Pat on the back, but also when something's broke, more importantly, who, who goes to fix it? Uh, mm -hmm. The broker hat was one that was driving her nuts. So uh, I don't mean that in the, not technically nuts. So, but um, uh, it wasn't a fun hat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, we we enjoy. We both have a passion in marketing. Uh, you know, magnetic marketing and being uh, preeminent and educating the consumer. Uh, uh, you know, when it takes you out of a creative space as well, too, uh, when you're doing things that um, that you don't want to be doing. Yeah. 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 It does, man. And, and you, compliance is not fun. Yeah. Like dealing with compliance. Yeah. You, and, and, what's, what's up with your paperwork again, Mike? 
you, yeah, you talk about working in the business and not on the business, right? Yeah, I mean, that, when yeah. you when you're a broker, man, that's 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 your full time job is to work in the business, man. You don't get to work on the business. That's not a privilege. That's a privilege you give up as a broker almost exclusively. But um, so okay, so for you guys, man, you know, obviously you 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 made the move, and you by moving, you're saying you got to kind of get back to what you love to do, right? And you and this is all about that fulfillment piece and, and obviously yeah. doing what you love. So so now you're back in it, right? Doing what you love. Have you guys have you seen some some personal and professional growth since you moved? Yeah, it's um, it's allowing us to connect and help with um, more agents throughout the country and uh, throughout North America, uh, being with EXP and uh, the long game is throughout the world period. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, uh, you know, we, I personally love stories like about uh, Colonel Sanders and KFC and uh, Walt Disney uh, before Mickey Mouse. And uh, I've even, um, one of my favorite movies is. Uh, Founder. Um, is it Founder? Uh, with I love that one too. That's yeah. right. uh, well, I think it's Walt before Mickey, uh, okay. but it's about Walt Disney. Probably most people don't know he went bankrupt. And didn't have anything, and uh, everybody left him. You talking about leadership? So that uh, if you uh, start to, if everybody leaves your team, which happens sometimes uh, with team leaders uh, and the business model and and the leadership, uh, go watch the movie. Everybody left Disney, Walt Disney himself, uh, and it was just him. So, uh, 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 so forward thinking is what I'm getting at. Is my point is you know EXP. There's not uh, you know the virtual. Uh, being virtual, that's where the move, the world is moving. You can go to your local mall, uh, and there's probably not the same stores that were there uh, three years ago because you know that's just the way the world's moving. And definitely, if you go there three years from now, uh, you know the game's going to be changed too. So, uh, so a quick answer on your question. Uh, uh, you know, we know it's a forward-thinking company. Uh, we're able to help agents uh, throughout the, uh, North America currently, then the world. Uh, uh, obviously revenue share uh, we still own uh, the company uh, we can go into any marketplace that we want uh, without having to pay uh, franchise fees uh, uh, I can build a team in Seattle uh, help someone build a team in Seattle one of my friends in uh, Destin Florida uh, asked me if uh, hey can you help us here with what you got there absolutely I can parachute wherever I want to go uh, uh, and, uh, with the same systems and run most of it out of Atlanta. So, um, um, so yeah, just let, allows us to, to scale faster. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome, man. Well, you know, it, it, it is truly a pleasure to have had you, um, and, and been able to, to steal some of your time and pick your brain a little bit. I know, um, I know people listening and watching this will definitely take something away um, and, and hopefully be able to to implement it immediately into their business and, and have success. I'm curious, brother, how 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 can people reach out to you if they want to learn more about you know how you do what you do, um, or they want to learn more about EXP or any of the other any of the other business ventures that that you're dabbling in? Um, really, um, uh, currently the the best would be is our uh, new page that we just uh, launched actually. Uh, today, so there's not a zillion people uh, 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 on it. We have two pages, but probably the the main one uh, for right now would be just go to uh, the page, not the group, uh, and or the group Mega Agent Success Secrets. Uh, we've already been putting started putting some content in that page, uh, but just go into there and uh, you know I I check in. I tr try to guard my time and not be on social media too much, uh, but I try to check in like once a day or so. Um, uh, upload some content and uh, you know check in with any messages and uh, you could shoot me a, a message straight through there and uh, I'd love to help you out. So, That's what are you awesome, brother? Are you uh, are you guys coming to the to the um, Cincinnati event next month? Uh, we, we are kind of uh, on the fence, and when we're on the fence, we usually go because we we haven't missed a mastermind <clears throat> event since Alaska. Um, uh, Alaska Mastermind was our first one in 2014 or 14, 2014 in August. Uh, we haven't missed one since. Um, uh, so I think we're pro we'll probably end up going. 
Well, I hope you guys do go and I hope to see you there. And uh, if not, I'm sure I'll see you in Orlando in June at the, at the shareholders event, man. Thank you so much for jumping on Jason. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. All right, brother. Have a good one. You too.